Have you been following the Jermaine Durandamy uh, thing going on right now? Yeah, I can't. I can't help but make fun of her. She's a, I, in my opinion, she's the worst champion ever. If you even want to call her a champion, what do you think? Well, first let me specify for those who are maybe not familiar. Uh, Jermaine Durandamy, the women's featherweight champion, uh, is being stripped of her belt by the UFC for refusing to fight Chris Cyborg. Um, this is the UFC's statement. Quote, UFC has informed Jermaine Durandamy and her management team that she is being removed as the women's featherweight champion due to her unwillingness to fight number one contender Chris Cyborg Justino. Subsequently, top contender uh, Justino will face newly signed FC featherweight champion Megan Anderson for the UFC's women's featherweight title in the co-main event of UFC 214 Cormier vs. Jones 2, or Jones 2, July 29th in Anaheim, California. To which Jermaine Durandamy has stated, quote, As many of you will know, the UFC has stripped me from the belt. For those of us who do not know what that means, the UFC has unpacked my title because I refuse to fight against their number one challenger. I have my reasons for that. It's great to hear this news from the media, and I'm sorry that it's running, but it's what it is. Well, I hear you thinking again, she's scared. What a bad champion. A shame for the sport. She did not deserve to be a champion, etc., etc. I've seen it all over. But apart from what everyone thinks, I'm walking my own path, and there you can agree or not. So these are the official statements from both sides. Um, her complaint against Christina Cyborg or Chris Cyborg is such a bullshit complaint to me. And here's why I say that. It's extremely hypocritical for her to have gotten her belt by what many people would be considered cheating seeing as she swung on Holly Holm twice, not once, but twice after the bell, and rocked Holly, and that definitely affected the outcome of the fight. You got it. You got your belt in a shady position, and yet you're going to res refuse to fight the next up-and-comer claiming that they're shady. Yeah, yeah that, is, that is something uh, for her to be trying to play victim. I mean, first of all, what are they going to do? Are they going to bury that division? They made that division for Cyborg. So when you're going up to 145, you know you're going to have to fight her at some point. So there's that. And then she definitely was hitting Holly after the bell. And on the one, it was like a one-two. It was like pop, pop, you know. It wasn't even just one shot. And, you know, concussions, if you get hit and you get hurt and you get rocked, man, that doesn't just go away because you went and sat down for 30 seconds on the stool. So that had a lasting effect on that fight, I thought. Absolutely, man. No, no question about it. Um, and you, you bring up a good point. The whole weight class was built for Cyborg. They don't have Ronda anymore. They don't have a big women's draw. They were trying to get, uh, what's her name, the little cute blonde one, um, was on Dancing with the Stars. I'm having a brain fart moment right now. Paige Van Zandt. They were trying to build up Paige Van Zandt. She, she isn't the unstoppable machine that uh, Ronda used to be. And so now they have Chris Cyborg, who uh, has a name because of the beef between her and Ronda and is kind of an unstoppable, unstoppable machine. You, you can't buck the person that the whole, the whole weight class was built for. And here's this. If the roles were reversed, if Cyborg was champion and... GDR came up to be the number one contender. Do we believe that she wouldn't fight the champion because she thought the champion was a cheater? Yeah, I, uh, you know, people always say so and so is scared or so and so is ducking. And it seems, it seems bizarre to say that because MMA is such a dangerous sport. You think, well, these are really brave people, so they shouldn't be scared of anything. But I, I legitimately believe people are just straight up afraid of cyborgs. She's a scary broad, man. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> She's a scary woman. But I, I is, man. She's something. I don't doubt for a minute that uh Jermaine I I believe if uh Cyborg was the title holder, Jermaine would fight her, steroid passed or not. Because mm -hmm. she wants that title. But she feels like now I'm the champ, so 
I can just duck and dodge. You you can't do that. You you can't have champion uh, after champion in different weight classes starting to pick up this habit because Mayweather is. I'm not sorry, not Mayweather. Because McGregor has stepped aside and he's doing his thing with Mayweather. I feel like it's setting exa- an example where other champions who don't have the same pulling power as McGregor are trying to pull McGregor's stunts. Yeah, you know, that's an interesting point. I haven't. I didn't really think about it, but. Uh... Yeah, maybe she would have went ahead and fought Cyborg had Cyborg been the champ. You know, I think some of it, too, not to get off topic, but I think that uh, they were hoping maybe Ronda Rousey would beat uh, Amanda Nunes, and then maybe Holly Holm would beat uh, Jermaine Durand to me, and then boom, you got a, a super fight rematch. I think they might have been leaning for that. And some mm. of this, I believe, was frustration from Dana White, uh, from Mighty Mouse, and, and uh, a few things from that, too. Right. Right, right, absolutely, man. Uh, so apparently, uh, Jermaine Durandamy is talking about going down to one thirty-five. How do you think she fares against Nunez? Oh, uh, I think Nunez destroys her. Uh, I think Nunez has just got some super powerful uh, KO power, and I don't know. I mean, we you always think, all right, someone's a champ, and all right, they look unstoppable, and then they get stopped. So you never know, really. Right. Right.